Hello YouTube, welcome back to another model aircraft review. Today I'll be reviewing the JC Wings 1400 scale Pakistan International Airlines Boeing 777-200ER in the 1960s retro livery. So, um, I know I haven't done the review in a very long time, um, just haven't had the time to do it, but I will definitely try to get some more out in the near future. So, um, thank you to all those who requested this review. Let's go ahead and get started with the box. So, <clears throat> pretty unique JC Wings box. As you can see, we've got the old PIA 1960s uh, logo here. Um, then we have the um, computer-generated image of the plane right there. Then in the background, we have the Pakistani flag. I know, I mean, the crescent moon and star are white on the actual flag, but this is just kind of a background, I guess, so it's not really supposed to be that important. Um, then we have the 60th anniversary of PIA um, logo there. And this livery, I believe, was unveiled to celebrate the 60th anniversary of PIA because I believe this this uh, livery was their first ever livery um, as an airline. And we have Boeing 777-200ER down there. And then the sides of the box are really not the same. This is this you know, it's like the same every single one. And then on the back we have just some green background and some info on JC Wings and yeah. So I purchased this model from wafflecollectibles.com in July of 2016 and sadly they are sold out of this model on there but you can find this model on eBay and they have some pretty good prices for it so if you want to get it I, I suggest checking out eBay um, they've got some pretty good prices on there for this model so yeah now let's go ahead and uh, move on to the model itself now alright so here's the model so we'll start with the no section as always um, before I start actually I just want to say that this is the same JC Wings is mold is the same uh, as Gemini Jets' 777 mold I believe Gemini and JC Wings they share aircraft molds for all of their models. I could be wrong, but this is this is the same um, triple seven mold that Gemini uses. So yeah, so let's get started with the nose right here. We've got the um, cockpit windows as you can see. Got the cockpit windows right there. Uh, so the black. Sorry about that. Little focus. We got the black nose here. Um, and the you know black dot on the nose and the radome nose coat you know radome right there. And then we've got the landing nose gear, nose gear flap here with MG, which is the last two letters of the registration of this plane. This, this plane's registration is AP-BMG or Alpha Papa uh, Bravo Mike Golf. And you got some nice light detail on the nose gear, um, which I mean, they don't work, but at least they included that. And the landing gear do roll on this model. Um, and we have the L1 and L2 doors here. Um, PIA written there, the 60th uh, anniversary sticker there, and then Boeing 777, and also the pitot tubes back here. Um, and the old flag of Pakistan, um, this was before I believe they added the um, white stripe to the flag. Um, so before it was just a green and uh, crescent moon and star. Um, and then we have Pakistan International written here. Um, and then we have the GE90-94B engines, uh, colored gray. Then you have the fan blade detail in there, and then we also have the inboard landing light. It's on it's on the other side as well, but this is this side. Uh, we got an antenna up here, and then the beacon lights there, the satcom or the dish or hump whatever, um, and then the two antenna uh, two antennas there, and then there's another antenna on the bottom. Uh, here's the wings. Let me just get the wings real quick. They're not really not, not much stuff to show on here. Um, and the wingtip there. Then there's the R3, I mean, sorry, L3 and L4 doors. Um, and then you can see the registra full registration back here. Um, AP BMG, and then the PIA written there, and then Boeing 777. And then here's the tail with the PIA logo, old PIA logo on it. And then the APU, which is this thing right here, and then the horizontal stabilizers right there. Um, and then we also have this green stripe, which runs all the way down um, and before I move on I believe there are some issues this actually this livery is actually a bit off um, there are some errors w um, from the actual old livery um, with this retro livery for example I believe on the old livery when this livery was actually flying in the 60s um, I believe the font the PIA font was a bit thinner on the tail I could be wrong but um, either that was the error or I think the Pakistan International writing, this is a bit of a thicker font. So I believe on the real livery when it was actually flying in the 60s, it was a bit of a thinner font here or something like that. I believe there are some 
off things with this livery um, as compared to the actual livery when it was still flying. So, um, yeah. And this plane actually didn't even fly for PIA its whole career. It actually used to fly for Vietnam Airlines. Um, and PIA d um, took, d you know, took it in 2015 um, from Vietnam Airlines. So, yeah. So let's move on to the other side of the aircraft. Um, yeah, so... Alright, so the other side, right side of the plane is pretty much the same. We just have the cargo doors, obviously, like every single model I, re I review. Um, there's the main cargo door in the front, and then the two main in the back. And then you might be wondering, I never, f I always forget to show this, but these lines above the doors, you see these are the style, I believe these are style lines. And what they do is that, um, in case of any water, if it's raining, they kind of direct the water off the, so that it doesn't come on the door. They direct the water away, so that's what these are for. That's what I've heard, at least. Um, and then, yeah, let's move on. Go ahead and move on to the underside of the model. Um, so as you can see, we've got the nose gear doors, if you can see it there, right there, and then the main landing gear doors, nicely detailed the stand hole, and then AP dash BMG underneath the uh, left wing, um, and then the gear do pivot. Um, you can see there. Um, and then we've got the antenna there. So, and then it's a gray underbelly. Um, and yeah. So that's going to do it for this review. Um, hope you all enjoyed. Um, overall, I would definitely give this model a 10 out of 10. JC Winston absolutely nailed it. Great detail all over the place. I've actually seen this exact plane before when I went to, when I visited my family in Karachi a few years back. I have seen this plane before. Um, and, uh, yeah, so really glad to have a model of it. Um, great model. Definitely get it if you haven't already, um, if you would like to, obviously. But yeah, anyways, that concludes this review. Definite 10 out of 10 of this model. Beautiful. Definitely get it if you can. Um, so in the next review, here are your choices. I, I, I can so pick one of the five. So if you choose, all right, so I'll give you some choices and you guys can choose which one of the models you, could, you would like to see. So we have the Air China A330-200, the um, Swiss A330-300, the Iceland Air 757-200 Heckler Aurora livery, uh, a Legion A320 new livery, and old livery double review, um, or the last choice is the um, Lufthansa A330-300. Um, so choose which one of the which one of those you would like to see in my next review, and the most votes wins, I guess. So obviously. Anyways, that's it for this review. Hope you all enjoyed. Please comment, like, rate, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.